The House Judiciary Committee held a hearing this morning to discuss expansion to the state's clean slate law. Law enforcement, business owners, even those with criminal records weighing in today. Like so many other Americans, I was swept up in the cocaine epidemic and was charged with a possession of a $20 amount of cocaine, and it was turned into an intent to distribute, I would say. So that carried a felony in the state of Pennsylvania. That was 28 years ago. When I started my career, having the criminal record, being a single mother, African-American, three strikes already against me, I decided to do the best I can to give myself and my children a better opportunity at a successful future. Uh, it's a little difficult to share this on a vulnerable level. I'm sorry. You're doing I worked just really hard to overcome my addiction. I did that years ago. Each time I applied for a position in the last 28 years, I had, it to, be, I had to be revisited, whether it was in an interview whether it was with a phone call because I was denied the opportunity to work. I was an addict in my early 20s. I am not my criminal history. I made a mistake and I've dealt with the consequences of those mistakes. I would really appreciate your uh, time and consideration to the passing of this bill. Would it benefit me and others tremendously? Absolutely. Absolutely would. 70 million Americans have some kind of criminal record, and the FBI is adding 10,000 names to its database every single day. Now, the first and foremost concern for policymakers is how do we prevent these crimes in the first place? How do we prevent individuals from ever coming into contact with the criminal justice system? But at the same time, we cannot ignore the back end of the system. What happens when these individuals have served their time, have completed their probation, have paid their dues? What happens when they're ready to come back? And that's where Clean Slate comes into play. Say they've never made a mistake. Um, can uh, redeem themselves, can pay for the consequences and move on. And that's what Clean Slate was about, and that's what we're looking at for this uh, bill. Clean Slate uh, is and has been successful. It's a first in the nation uh, type of piece of legislation. There have been many states that have followed us since um, we did this in Pennsylvania, and millions of Pennsylvanians have been helped, and there's so many more that we can help. When we passed Clean Slate, it was really an example of, of uh, bipartisan consensus to try to solve a problem. There was some compromises made to, to get it passed, and I think today is a good opportunity to talk about how to, how to make this even better for the future. This uh, legislation will help those who have fully served their sentences for relatively low-level offenses obtain employment. And once they obtain that employment, that will uh, increase the likelihood that they will never reoffend. This is a crime-fighting measure and we fully support it. We're not minimizing uh, the crimes at issue, but we're trying to maximize the rehabilitation, the chances of success, keeping families together, having kids in homes where the parents work, um, and that is, that is really important and, and why we, we are in favor of, of the legislation. This is a bipartisan piece of legislation. Um, as we have said many times, you know, this is not a Republican issue. This is not a Democrat issue. This is a people issue. This is a jobs issue. And Pennsylvania's economic base is diverse, but we are hearing the same thing from employers all over Pennsylvania, all industries, all sizes, in all 67 counties. They cannot find the people to fill the open positions that they have. It's harming their ability to maintain operations and it's harming Pennsylvania's economy. That's why we're here today. That's why we support this legislation and why we support Clean Slate. We're happy to support this extension because it is a smart, targeted extension to certain low-level felonies and it's a public safety oriented measure that will help rehabilitation. I made a mistake in the past 
I sold drugs. Um, it caused me to go to prison since then. Um, I paid dear. Uh, years later, I've been trying my best to get things on the right track, um, take care of my family. Um, I, I'm a father of children, and um, the Clean Slate Act will help uh, give people like me a second chance at life so that I can redeem myself and give my children who wasn't here when I made that mistake a better life. And right now um, in our politics and in our national and our state, it, it's so combative um, that to have a piece of legislation that it's about people and it's not about party is uh, I think pretty impressive. This day is better than a birthday. This is one of the best days of my life. I've not ever imagined myself being able to speak to lawmakers about the impact of the criminal record, but being here today, it's been amazing. I just can't wait to see the ripple effect that it's gonna have on the lives that'll come behind me.